heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. And that the second greatest is to love your neighbor as yourself. Because by ranking these two commandments above all the others, Jesus declared, demonstrates that love is important to God and essential to his mission of reconciling all creation to himself. In our class verse, John implores his readers to love, not with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. During the time we spent in Bible class, in chapel, and on class mission trips to Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., and Barcelona, Spain, we have learned so much about what it means to put this verse into practice, and in doing so, obey those two greatest commandments. I think my classmates would agree that measuring our years in high school only by our successes is ultimately worthless if we fail to make loving God and loving his people our primary focus. In a few short minutes, we will receive our diplomas and put our four years of high school behind us. Each of you in the audience, particularly our parents, has played a part in all of our achievements over the past four years, especially this one, graduating. For all that you have done, we thank you. Now the millions of minutes of high school will soon be gone, but the impact they have made on us will begin to come alive the second after the ceremony ends. As we look back on our high school days, we will remember that the truly important moments were those spent in growing, in learning, in sharing, in serving, and, most importantly, in loving one another and loving God.